Hello and welcome to this episode of Love Lytics Loves Data. We are going to be talking about spatial files in Tableau and how to use them in building visually appealing maps. My name is Michael Werner and I'm a Tableau trainer here at Love Lytics. Let's get started. Spatial files contain geographic data that can be used to pinpoint specific locations or features at a low level of granularity. Some common spatial file types are GeoJSON and shapefiles. These can be found in open source data systems across the web or created on your own through various mapping softwares. Using geojson.io online, I created a spatial point map identifying the specific locations of metro stations in the Washington DC area. I can bring this file into Tableau by selecting spatial file and finding my geojson file. When connected, Tableau uses the geographic information in the spatial file to create a field called geometry, which contains all of my locational data. I am also going to join an Excel file to my spatial file containing data about DC Metro Station ridership. So now that my spatial file and Excel files are joined in Tableau, I can use them to build a visually appealing map, find trends, and answer the question, what is the average riders per weekday near Love Lytics? by the Roslyn station. Okay, let's build. I'm going to use my geometry field coming from my spatial file and drag it onto the middle of my view where show me appears. When I drop it off, Tableau pulls longitude and latitude onto my columns and rows and places geometry using an aggregation called collect onto detail. This establishes the location of each point on our map. Next, I'm going to add color and detail by placing the line field onto color on the march card and the name field onto detail. If I want to see trends and an aggregation laid into each point, then I will need to change my mark type from the map, which Tableau automatically designated, to a circle. Now I can bring my riders per weekday measure onto size and set my aggregation to average. This allows Tableau to size each point based on the size of the aggregated number and starts to show us our trends. I can increase the size on our marks card and help make it more clear to our end user. So where do we see trends? Where does it look like stations are visited most often? I see a majority of large circles located right in downtown DC around Metro Center and Union Station. No surprise there. And I see a bump in the size of points at the end of each line color, likely from the workers driving in from other parts of Virginia and Maryland making the trek into the city. Before I send this to my end user so that they can investigate into the Roslyn Metro Station near the Lovelytics offices, I still want to make sure that this map is as visually appealing as possible. I'm going to start by finding my map tab on the toolbar at the top of the screen and scrolling down to map layers. This shows over my data pane and allows me to change the style of the background to normal, add in streets and highways, place names, and any other map layers that might interest me. Next, I can select my line field on color and create a highlighter to allow my end user to make one metro line stand out at a time. Lastly, I want to find a symbol other than a basic circle to represent each metro station. Since Tableau doesn't have a train symbol in its shapes already, I can go find my own on Google. Once I find a marker I like, preferably one of a PNG file type, so it has a transparent background, I can save it into Tableau by finding my Tableau repository on my machine, selecting shapes, and then choosing a folder to place it into. Now I can change my marks type from circle to shape, selecting shape, open up more shapes, and navigate to the folder I saved my marker into. Once I locate the marker, I can select it, click OK, and watch my points update to this train symbol. Finally, I'm satisfied with my map and can answer my question. What is the average riders per weekday near the Lovelytics offices? Right around 15.4 thousand, and I'm one of them. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lovelytics Loves Data. Leave a comment down below about your ideas for spatial mapping in your visualizations, and be sure to reach out to Lovelytics for all of your data needs.